nearly identical on the splits for Smith and Flickener, the first, first three 50s, Mike. The only difference was the last 50 for Flickener. She outsplit everybody else in the field, 33-1 coming home. And that's what she's been her entire career, consistent. I don't think I've ever seen her miss a wall. Hitting those walls are so important. There is Reagan Smith right there. Who I'm, likes to take it out fast. I'm thinking right. Days start to run together at trials. I feel like every night I've looked up and that pink swim cap's been in the lead. So we are. or another, right? you find Reagan Smith out there. And, and this is one of the events that I thought that she had a great chance to win the gold medal in last summer. Still, I think that she does. She ranks eighth in the world. The top performance in the world right now is Zhang Yufei from China, 205.4. Kapish, the world champion in 19, is 206.5. And then Flickener with that semifinal swim was 206.6. That's third in the world right now. Halfway through, they're very close. It is Smith only by two one hundredths of a second over Flickener, who had a better second 50 to tighten the gap. Sure did, Mike. 31.7 and 32.2, about a half a second faster than Smith on that second 50. They have certainly separated themselves from the field. We came in here thinking this was going to be about these two swimmers right there. Smith with that pink cap right above her Flickener. Remember in the semis, Flickener charged home. Look at her building into this wall. She'll go by Smith right there. Takes the lead with a 32-3, 32-9-4 Smith. Quarter second behind American record pace as they head to the final 25 laps with Smith in the lead. Flicking her in second and trying to make a push. 17-year-old Charlotte Hook just above them. Yes. In lead three. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Watch this 17-year-old. Could she do it? No. Here She's comes Flicking her. Flickin her. Flicking her pulling away in the final 15 meters. And Haley Flicking her will take the title here in the women's 200 fly with Smith finishing second. Flickener with a personal best time, 205.85. Two one hundredths of a second past her fastest time. As Hook looks up at the board, she was third by nearly a full second. I'm so happy for Haley Flickener and Reagan Smith, both of them. Those, those are the second and fourth fastest times in the world this year. You don't think those both? Those two will not have a medal chance when we get to Tokyo? Absolutely, halfway point. <laughs> How about this? Two one hundredths of a second separates them. Like I said, they, they really virtually swam right there together. Two synchronized swimmers going right there, head to head, two of the best ever to do it. Two tenths of a second was a difference on the 150 mark. Another look at the 150 mark. This is where Flick does such a great job in ramping up into the speed into the wall. Lines that wall up long before she gets there. And on the finish, did she come home? Wow. 33-1 on the way home. 34 flat for Smith. She was second fastest. And how about that 17-year-old? She doesn't make the team, but that's a great swim by Charlotte Hook. 207-9. That is really sensational. She'll be there again for years to come. And those two competitors, teammates, they'll both be on Team USA.